you need to you need to love you and you need to share you because what a shame to spend life on this planet if if it's real or if it's not and i don't know some days but you know interacting with everybody else like we all do busy 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 all the time but to do that in the cold and in the dark in sadness and sorrow and fear and pain to only figure it out on your deathbed or never how sad is that and could you imagine how many people end up that way and you see them you see them when you're in traffic you see them when they're behind honking their horn at you to get out of the way because they're rushing to nowhere that they want to be you know you see it when a when a parent is aggravated and on their phone and their child's trying to get their attention for something they're excited about and they're like stop you know and maybe just something that you say to somebody in some way you touch them to change their life so those of us who realize that we have that power it's our obligation you don't have to be a guru you don't have to feel like it's on your shoulders to save everybody's life but it's our obligation once you've come this far to take the next step and share that little piece of yourself so that a person might just open their eyes, their hearts, to possibility and change something in their life so that they don't live in the dark and the cold so if you love someone, and the pain. You should let them know That's all. all the light that you give me will ever glow. Love you, brother. Love you too. Love you all. It's about sharing the epiphany. It's that moment that you realize, shit, that's not how it's going to be anymore. And you tell people how it was, how it's not going to be like that anymore, and why. And who helped you change your mind. And what they've shown you. And that's it. And people are going to want to know, hmm, anybody that relates to your story is going to want to meet the people that you've met that are giving you this love, this friendship, this education, this coaching, this way out of your stuck situation. I want to meet those people. And I did want to meet those people when I heard the last person's story. And you wanted to meet those people when you heard my story. I felt so much pain. And I can't live like that anymore. I won't live like that anymore because I know that there's better now. Like Jan said, I'm not going back to my job. I'm not that guy anymore. I can't be that guy. Doesn't work. Done. I don't care. I'll be starving with the love of my life on a beach somewhere and that will be paradise. Nothing else matters. It's love and it's fulfillment and freedom. That's it. That's all. That's all there is. And is there a person on this planet that doesn't want that? Like seriously? And if that person exists, you don't want them anyways. You don't want them to listen. And someone that says, oh, you're full of shit, you don't want that person. But those of you who do believe what I'm talking about, because it's true and I'm living it, and I found it, just let me show it to you. That's all I ask. Do yourself that service and let me show it to you. That's all. I'm not a marketer. I'm a being who, who, who is in pain that found something. I just found something. I took a shot. I believed in myself for one second and clicked on something when everybody else said, you're not going to go and click on shitty, like stupid things on the internet. And I just did it. And look at all, look at what I found. Like, I don't even know if what's inside this machine that I hang out in all the time and all these people around the planet, you know? That's what we're talking about, getting out and going and touching and sharing some hugs and some real live energy. Because sometimes it's like, shit, like, is this real? This can't be real. This is too wonderful. This is what I do now. I spend my time hanging out with my friends. My true friends who I can cry in front of. 
and talk about what troubles me and what I need to overcome and what I have overcome and the things I have overcome and I have learned, I could share them. And I could share them in, in a crazy, hypermanic, you know, ADD sort of way on a certain day, in a depressed mood in another day. If I'm depressed, I'm not hiding from you guys. I'm showing up here on Friday. I wouldn't ever hide from you guys. I would hide from those out there. And sometimes not even, I'll just stay in my own quietness, you know, and not really socialize. But here, you get whatever me is showing up today. The me that doesn't shut up and yak, 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 and then I, you know, to the point that I'm like sick of hearing myself. Sometimes you get that me. You know, you get all kinds of me's and that's what it's about. And don't you want to be with the people that accept you without judgment unconditionally? So go talk to those people. Say, this is me. This is my story. This is the pain I felt and I'm figuring out a way out of it. And if you want to figure your way out of your pain, maybe come check out what I've checked out. That's it. That's God all, folks. God is God don't praise me because all. I beat Joe Frazier. God don't give nothing about Joe Frazier. Sorry. Mic drop. <laughs> England or America as far as we are well.